there, my friend. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, and I want to welcome you back to another episode here on the Fit Father Project podcast. In just a moment, you're going to hear a conversation between myself and one of our Fit Father program members, Dave Crawford. Dave is 56 years young, and over the past year, he's used our Fit Father program in conjunction with a Peloton bike and some other healthy changes he's made to lose over 45 pounds. What struck me as Dave shares his story that was very unique is Dave really took our program and adapted it to his own life. And the changes he made to lose that amount of weight, they weren't extreme. They were some simple things like making a sandwich for lunch, making sure he got exercise in the morning, no matter whether he was at home or vacation, and making some mindset shifts between what he calls the big things and the little things to be able to live a healthier life, to fly the kind of planes he wants to fly as a pilot, to be around for his daughter and to see her grow up and share all the memories with her and with his wife. I think you're going to love this conversation and some of the unique perspectives that Dave shares. So without further ado, let's get into this conversation today with Fit Father Dave Crawford. All right, Dave, welcome officially to the Fit Father Project podcast, my friend. I'm super happy to have you here. Well, thanks for having me. Glad to be here. So to kick this off, I'd love for you to introduce yourself to everyone who's listening, your name, your age, where you're from, a little bit about your family and what you do for work, and then we'll get into your Fit Father story. Oh, my name is Dave Crawford. I live in uh, Northern Virginia. I'm 56 years old. Um, I think probably feel older than I actually am some days. Uh, I'm married. I have a 20-year-old a, a daughter who's a, a sophomore in college. So my role in life now is International Bank of Dad. Uh, my wife has uh, is, is, uh, been sort of with me on my journey. She's lost about 20 pounds along the way. And uh, we got four cats, one dog. And right this minute upstairs, we have uh, a foster mama cat with uh, four kittens, and we've fostered uh, cats over the last five or six years. So, uh, um, sort of more of a I turned out to be more of a cat person than I ever thought I would be. So, uh, I uh, been thirty five years in the IT field. I currently uh, support uh, the federal government in a large cybersecurity program. My role is as, as an architect. Uh, I. You know, so I, I live the technology dream all day, every day. Um, I'm from everywhere and nowhere. I was a military brat, uh, so I moved all over. Uh, so wherever I am is home. We recently moved to Northern Virginia after spending uh, uh, over 20 years living in North Carolina. So uh, a little bit of an upheaval during the pandemic. And yeah. uh, that's sort of sort of part of the beginnings of thinking I needed to do something was the, the well, sitting at home during the pandemic and the, the and moving in the middle of it and uh, just uh, those kinds of things. Well, I mean, wonderful intro. Sounds like you have a busy house still. Daughter's <laughs> out, lots of cats. And I thought, I thought it was funny, you know, before, you know, for those listening, before all the guys come onto the podcast, they fill a little bit of an intake form with some stuff. And you wrote that your wife had fostered over 80 kittens over the course of their life. And I had to, t I told that to my wife. I'm like, this is incredible. 80, 80 kittens. Like, so anyways, that's a funny little aside. Let's get into what prompted you to take your health a little more seriously. What you mentioned was the pandemic. And also I imagine being in the, in the IT architecture space, you're sitting on your butt all day, looking at a screen and that probably takes a toll. So bring me into the beginnings of your weight loss journey and what you start doing. And then we'll talk about how you transition to our fit father project. So if we go way back in time, I was an athlete in high school, junior high school, and uh, I was I was in the Army, uh, Army ROTC commissioned. And when I was you know 25 years old, I was in the best condition of my life, and I weighed you know 155 if I was dripping wet. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was 30 you know 31 years ago. Uh, somewhere along the way, uh, about the time I got off of active duty, I hurt my knee, uh, had knee surgery, nothing terrible, arthroscopic surgery. But basically at the point where I didn't have to do PT anymore, I didn't do PT mm -hmm. anymore. And I, you know, started the sedentary lifestyle and kind of got out of, you know, out of the things that I used to be in and, you know, the lifestyle, life checks in and, you know, so on and go forward. Um, so starting about 2018, uh, 
company I worked for, we won a contract. I was living in, I living in North Carolina and I became key on the contract. So I was here in the DC metro area three weeks a month for two years. And so mm-hmm. I traveled in, stayed in a hotel. If I wasn't at the office, I was at the hotel. And so, you know, eating, eating by yourself or even in a, even in a group, you're eating by yourself. And, you know, the entirety of my exercise was raising my, you know, hand, hand, fork to my fork to my mouth or elbow with a glass Mm -hmm. and uh, did that for till literally till the week before the world shut down uh, Mm -hmm. in March of 2020. Right about that time, we decided that we, the I needed to move up here, so I'd signed a sales contract. And but I was sitting on my butt. My wife and I had been talking a little bit, probably prior to maybe Christmas of 2020, that we needed to do something. I needed to do something. My doctor told me I needed to do something. You know, the and, and you know that I had high blood pressure. I got high cholesterol. I had all of the bits and pieces of this and that. Uh, and I weighed about 245. Uh, and you could, if, you know, there's a picture which probably show up here somewhere, which is kind of the before and after, Mm -hmm. maybe not so much in my face, but I had the the classic, you know, beer belly looking guy, whatever. So uh, thinking about what to do was, you know, I, I needed to do something and I, you know, there's no easy way, you know, there's no easy way out, right. There's no staples, easy button for this. But some paths are easier than others. And so yeah. the, the, the thing that I figured that I could do and was even willing to do was to try to do an indoor cycling. And so we decided to buy a Peloton. And so we bought one in April, which is where I kind of began the journey. Um, and so 56 weeks ago, so I got my, you know, I got my, my, calendar when I started and watched the graph, all that. Um, and I, I, I lost between April of 2021 and August of 2021, I lost about 15 pounds. Mm-hmm. Uh, not, not crazy numbers, you know, but not, ba- not bad. And it was sure. kind of progressive, but somewhere. And I, and honestly, I, I want to say that it was a, I won't say it's random, but for a Facebook ad. Yeah targeting whatever demographic I might fit in. I, you know, who, who knows, you know, I, I'm sure there's certain amount of things that you, you know, when you're looking at doing your advertising, you, you have certain things you're interested in, but whatever, whatever it was, um, I saw an ad and I kind of, you know, I probably saw it more, more than one time. Mm-hmm. And so I went and I eventually sometime late July, August ish, sometime or another, I took a look at it and I had been think had been considering that while I was making progress, I wasn't making as much progress as I wanted and I needed to do something else. And I didn't know what the something else was. I talked to my doctor a little bit and he, you know, he, he suggested that I needed to do some dietary things or whatever. And so I want to think that what I got into was like the seven day trial or whatever, Mm -hmm. that beginning scenario with a meal plan and some other things like that. And I kind of kind of peeled the onion a little bit and um, looked at that, took that approach. And uh, I think I was successful ish. Uh, And then, you know, I came back for uh, phase one. Mm-hmm. And I think there's a couple things going on there. One is no, number one, you have to want to do it and you yeah. have to commit to do it. Um, one of those two is easier than the other. Right. <laughs> so I have desire, but I may not necessarily have the commitment, though I, I had more or less committed to the path on the bike. So I was yeah. to, the, to to even then I, I ride about on average 30 30 minutes a day, maybe nice. a little less. Uh, when I got in the Fit Father program in August, I incorporated um, some of the exercises. I've adjusted fire on that be, for, mm-hmm. be, for timing and other considerations. And I, yeah. I'm readdressing it because I now that I've seen, I, I basically, I think for lack of a better word, I've gotten rid of all the easy weight. And now yeah. I'm in that 
sort of, I need to do some muscle building, retention, yeah. rebuilding. But I, so I got committed to part of it. And then it was looking at the dietary considerations. And so yeah. the, you know, um, I do the, um, the shakes and the protein, you know, the protein shakes three, four, uh, four days a week, maybe for your breakfast, omelet, maybe every couple of days alternating, uh, you know, and I, and also started looking at portion control and all the rest of that stuff. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you, you, you got to set your mind to it. And so that's sort of, that's kind of how I got started. Um, I, I haven't, I'm not active in the, in the Facebook group, but up through phase three, one of the things that I think was important to me, even though I didn't necessarily always respond to it was the accountability emails. Cause period, mm-hmm. you know, I, I'd respond maybe twice a week mm-hmm. and I would, you know, you know, kind of look at the bullet points about things to talk about. And if there was some, some milestone that I had met, um, or, you know, the, the, as you talk about kind of the non scale victories, right. Yep. So the, the scale is the, the, the scales there. It's a necessary evil and you, you, it's a, but it's a tool yep. and, uh, you, you know, you look at it and uh, now I look at it as a kind of a gauge of, I know within probably a pound or two, if I were to weigh myself tonight, mm-hmm. Based on what I in, took in, I within a pound or two, I know exactly what I'll wake up as. Yeah, um, and then I know based on that what the net weight's going to be after I get done with my exercise or whatever. Uh, so I've, I've gone through that, and uh, but that's sort that's how I got on the path. Mm-hmm. And between then and now, August till now, uh, you know, the path has been more or less direct, but not easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, as of right now today, um, I am about net 46 pounds down from where I started and about, you know, plus or minus 30 as I've been involved in the Fit Father uh, Project program um, over the course of 56 weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I would, the like the desire versus commitment is, it's a men- it's a mental thing, mm-hmm. and uh, I had some reasons why I wanted to do it. I'm a I'm a private pilot, uh, and there are some airplanes that I would like to fly yeah. that I could not fly previously mm-hmm. because I was too heavy to get in the airplane, uh, or I couldn't fly that airplane with somebody else, even if I could get in the airplane. And right. so my you know kind of. You know, everybody has a little bit of different motivation, yeah. but that was the kind of one of my motivations besides yeah. getting healthy, healthier. Um, and, you know, the at my last lab work, all the cholesterol numbers, which were out of sequence, had flipped over. So the nice. good versus bad ratio was correct now. The total was down. Blood sugar was down. Uh, A1C is down, all, the, all that kind of stuff. Nice. You know, so... I'd say I'd be, you know, I'm, I'm baseline on the right path. Am I yeah. there yet? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. But you're on the path for sure. I'm curious when you started and you got the Peloton, which was a, a move in my opinion, that made a lot of sense. Cause you knew you were sitting on your butt and you know, like I have this big deficit in activity. This seems like something that's accessible, fun, easy on my joints. I can get into it, and that's good. Did you did you have the motivation in your mind at that time that you wanted to fly the planes? And was that on the top of mind, or was that something you discovered from no, the it was deeper? Basically, sort of the scenario. I mean, I had there's a couple. I, I had you know there there's a couple that I a friend of mine has has access to some airplanes, and I was like thinking I want to do that, but it was that was a kind of a. I don't know, a secondary goal yeah. of like, so the, you know, if anybody out there is a pilot, right. Avgas weighs uh, six pounds a gallon, right. It's a, it's lighter than water. Mm-hmm. So there's a running joke about, you know, when you're losing weight is you want to, you know, how many, how many, how many pounds <laughs> of fuel can you, can you displace? Yeah. Because the, you know, the, there's, there's a, an adage in aviation that you can never have too much fuel unless you're on fire. And the, mm-hmm. one of the useless things in aviation is fuel you left behind. Mm-hmm. Well, I was flying, you know, there's some airplanes out there that I would have to leave fuel behind. 
so I could make the weight. And so that, that was the goal. But what the Peloton was a, you know, we'd previously had a treadmill and I, my wife used it and I hated it with it to mm-hmm. the fiber of my being. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's just counterintuitive and unnatural to me. Um, you know, I, I got on the bike and, uh, you know, it was, it was hard work and, you know, I was, you know, huffing and puffing and everything. And then it got better and better and better and endurance and so on. And then, you know, we started going back to the office, albeit not as much then as now, but I started taking the stairs and I was on my office is on the fourth floor. We just moved from one building to another. My office is now on the ninth floor. And for those doing math, that is more than twice as many steps. Yeah. Uh, and so I, you know, have been, but you know, today, yesterday I took this, you know, I, I went up and down the stairs twice. Nice. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's the little things plus yeah. the big things. Um, but the, you know, the dietary stuff is a, is a, it, you know, that that's an eye opening experience. That's what know? I want to talk about too. And you're right. It is the little things plus the big things. And the little things are done because, because of the mindset. Right. I mean, taking the stairs is, is a little thing, but it's done because of the mindset of I'm trying to accumulate activity because I have these values and these goals of living healthier. Right. The big things is rearranging your approach to nutrition strategically every day. Meal timing. What do you have first thing in the morning? So give me a little bit like a side by side of a side by side might be one way of like what you were doing before to what you changed when you got on FFP plan or just describe kind well, of you know, the when I was doing the when I was doing the, you know, the, the probably the point of reference that I have most because I, I honestly the whole six, eight months, whatever it was during the pandemic, where we were in the process of getting ready to move and all the rest of that. I don't know. I I lost track, but prior to that, right. I was on the road three weeks a month. So, you know, my go-to thing in the morning was a venti quad shot, whatever, something, you know, I think white mocha was my thing. I believe that's like 900 calories maybe. Right. And that was my, that was my start the day thing whatever sandwich or this or that at the, the cafe or deli, you know, yeah. eat the blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, eat at the, eat at, you know, eat at the hotel restaurant or eat out or whatever. And, you know, a beer or two and a bourbon or two and, you know, all that stuff adds up. Yep. So going forward, when I started the flashing forward to August of last year, we yeah. started, the, you know, I started looking at, you know, part as part of the plan, the program. Mm-hmm. And I think that's really the thing that I got into it is, is that I was looking for, I knew I needed something more structured. Yep. Sure. You could probably make something up on your own, but I need, I needed something that was a framework to yep. work from. So the, you know, started looking at, the meal plans and then, you know, por- you know, portion control. So I, like I said, I, I you know, I do the, uh, one flavor, uh, you know, one f- recipe or another of the, of the, the shakes with the vanilla, you know, super fuel. Yep. Um, and I, you know, so that's my thing at lunch. I, you know, I switched, I started, I switched over to Ezekiel bread. Yep. Um, you know, I, I, started measuring out serving sizes, Mm -hmm. right. You know, um, the, that kind of thing. And then getting a, you know, kind of like setting, I I take my lunch now, so I don't go, you know, I don't go out. Uh, and I have my, you know, my wife helps me out and she makes sandwiches. I got my little bits and pieces and then I have my three o'clock snack and, you know, that, that kind of stuff. And then for dinner, it's, Honestly, it's I eat the I eat more or less the things that I used to eat before yep. because I, I, there are things that I like. There are things that I'm not all that much of a fan of, um, and it's it's all about it's all about portion control. Yep. And you know whether we you know whether we do the full you know like divide your plate in like your, your guide perfect plate yeah. into quarters and all the rest. Of it. It's do 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 something that's that's. I almost want to say formulaic, right? So mm-hmm. it's set the stage, figure it out. Um, and it's, it's really, I think is more, you know, I've got, and as I've gotten time, I wouldn't say, I would go over time. I wouldn't say that I'm doing the, I don't know what they call it, the natural eating or whatever it is, where the intuitive eating or whatever, yeah. you, you, you can't do that. You know, I've got a scale. And so I measure out things 
I maybe don't get quite so crazy with the proteins as maybe yeah. I do with other things, but I, you know, I measure those out and, you know, the color of sadness, if sadness had a color is what happens when you measure out a single serving size of pasta and then cook yeah. it. Right. You know, so, but that's what happened, you know, so I, and so I, you know, I took the guidance, I got the meal plans, the, you know, the timing I, I did, I, for, two, three months, maybe I did the fat, the, the intermittent fasting one day a week. I, I've kind of gone away, away from that. And I basically do a one day, two days, maybe 16, eight, nice. um, and adjust things. Um, and so I think it's, it, it that has helped, uh, but it, it's more, it's, it's, you know, it's like, you know, however long the concept of however long it takes to go from an intention to a habit, I'm along the way on the habit side of things. Yeah. So it's, you know, I, I give consideration to what it is that is happening. If I'm going to go yeah. out to dinner, you know, for whatever reason, I, you know, I, I, I look at the choices. What do mm-hmm. I order? Um, that kind of thing. And so I, I'm, you know, it's all, you know, we talked to small things, big things. It's at this point, it's a lot of little things adding up to measurable, demonstrable outcomes, but it yeah. isn't just the, it isn't just, it, it isn't just the scale. Yeah. Uh, I feel better. I've got more energy, I think, um, more endurance, certainly for the, even the, you know, the activities that I do have. Um, yeah, I, I, I would hesitate to say that, you know, my outlook has changed or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Cause I, I, you know, I, I am, I don't think I ever had, you know, I'm not, it hasn't gotten worse. It hasn't gotten any better. It's, you know, yeah. but I'm, I'm targeting. Right. Yeah, totally. I mean, what you shared was very, was very powerful. And I, I'd, I'd like to paraphrase just to really highlight a couple of the points I think were most profound is one for you right now, uh, having just the awareness that you now approach every day, awareness of portion size going out now, instead of just maybe ordering automatically, which you would have in the past, you just think about things at a slight, at a deeper level because you have been working from a framework and ultimately like uh, adding more awareness to this whole process is going to be what colors all your decisions into the future. And that's like the, this, the meta skill of this health game, you could say. And then two, the fact that you've kind of standardized a breakfast, a lunch and a snack, and like, and no longer are these things creeping in like the 900 calories worth of sugar and caffeine in the morning with the sandwich. Like those things are devastating if you do that on a regular basis for the purpose of weight loss. But just by standardizing some of that, and I love that you said for dinner that you still eat some of the same stuff that you had before, like cool, perfect, but like portioned with some standardized meals, it obviously works at your calorie targets to gradually lose 30 to 45 pounds over the course of now, you know, however many months. I added some of the tools, right? So the, you know, you, one of the, I I actually saw something on on YouTube the other day about, you know, the, you know, kind of some of the ways that you can make it easier on yourself is to, you know, kind of you play the numbers game, right? So I, uh, back in January, I bought a, I bought a, uh, an Apple watch yeah. and, um, it, you know, it tells me, you know, I've set some goals about movement and, you know, exercise time and how many hours, you know, how, how often I should stand and so on yeah. and so forth. And so, um, you know, I kind of look at that and I'm like, oh, okay, I got to do, I got to do something because I, you know, I want to make, continue my streak. Right. So, yeah. so there's that I added, you know, I did my fitness pal. I don't, I don't do it religiously, but I did yeah. start measuring things to kind of get an idea about what my, what my, I'll say average calorie intake yeah. was as I started going through some of this against a kind of a bait, you know, against the, you know, your baseline, right? So yeah. the main, that like maintenance thing, you know, the whole issue of calorie deficit becomes kind of a challenge because you, the, a deficit from what, you know, you've got to mm-hmm. have a, you got to have some kind of baseline. So, um, you know, and I, I, I wouldn't say that I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm successful and maybe I'm, you know, on the path to success, but I think a measure of my ability to maintain this process is, yeah, it was, it was my, you know, daughter's in school, her spring break's over, blah, 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 whatever. My wife and I went to Florida for a week, three weeks ago. 
I had every expectation that coming back from the from the trip that I would be off kilter, miss the you know miss the mark, whatever it is. Two, th- I think two things kept that from happening. One is I did not break my exercise routine, so mm-hmm. I we're back to the treadmill because I didn't quite all have options, but <clears throat> I got up every morning at the same time, even though I'm on vacation, I got up yep. on my schedule. I got up every morning and I went and did a 30 minute indoor walk on the treadmill. Nice. There were a couple of days we were out, you know, out and about doing whatever. I w- went to an air show in, in uh, <clears throat> central Florida that day. I walked like nine or 10 miles. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so there was that. And then I, you know, intentionally yeah. ate and we, we, we did old school, old school. I was having flashbacks to being a kid. Mm-hmm. We packed a picnic lunch as we drove down to Florida and stopped at the rest area, had sandwiches, whatever it nice. is. And we had portioned them out before we left. So yeah. it was, I had my, you know, whatever my sandwich was going to be. That's what I did. Yep. So the, by maintaining the habit, even yep. though I was out of my, you know, out of my comfort zone, yep. um, I came back and I was within a half a pound of what it was when I left. And nice. I, at point of fact, I actually like got a couple of days later, I, I set a, you know, set a new low on the way down. Um, and so it's, 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 Again, it's not the easy button or anything else like that, but, you know, it's far harder to do if you don't have a plan, if you don't have right. a map to your destination, whatever, yeah. wherever your destination is. And, yeah. um, you know, I set a goal in my mind to try to lose 50 pounds. Mm-hmm. Uh, originally, I was 50 pounds in a year. I have not quite made that, but I'm 46, 46 ish plus or minus. So I, you know, in, in a year and change. Yep. So I've lost, and that's, that's a fair amount of weight. Yeah. But in reality, it's like the non-scale victories, right? So it's, it's two shirt sizes in the neck. Mm -hmm. It's four inches in the chest. Mm -hmm. It's four to six inches in the waist. Dress pants, it's four. Jeans, believe it, I'm like, I was shocked. I went from a 40 down to 34 in jeans. Nice. My wife, yeah, like I got t-shirts and everything from years gone by. Depending on who makes the t-shirt, I've gone from 2XL down to a medium. Wow. You know, and my wife is like all kinds of excited because she gets to go buy me new clothes. <laughs> uh, and, you know, and the, you know, the, the, First time I'd, you know, really had an opportunity to see somebody, you know, after the pandemic sort of kind of, kind of unwound as I, a co-worker, we met him and his wife at a local winery for a sunset, whatever it is. I hadn't seen her since before we moved in, you know, probably eight, nine months. And the first thing she commented on was how, you know, how much have you, how much, you know, how much weight have you lost? And I, I get that at work now. I have, have somebody told me that I need to change my profile picture in, uh, in you know, Teams or whatever because it doesn't, it, it doesn't represent what my face look, used to look like. Yeah. I mean, I was a jolly, jolly soul, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I had all those. And then there was one thing that I had never given any consideration about. Um, my wedding ring almost fell off. Hmm. And so I took that ring off. I'm wearing my dad's ring now, hmm. but I, I it was literally my the wedding ring that I had had, that had resized, resized had was slipping off my knuckle because I have have had that much change. And I would have never in a million years. I mean, the, of the things that you would consider or not consider, that's not one of the things that I would ever right. ever thought about. But and to going, you know, kind of give the credit for the program the. I followed it to the extent that it worked for me yes. within the framework. And yeah. some of the exercises were hard. Some of them were too, you know, I, some of them were too hard physically. Some of them, I'm like, you know what? I, I, part of it is I had, I've got a time budget yeah. and I, I need to shake it up a little bit, but I, I kind of swapped things in and out yeah. and, Recently, I've added something else because I've, I've got a young guy at the office who is young enough to be my son, who 
on off the cuff one day said, Hey, we ought to walk, we ought to do 30 for 30. And I'm like, what are you talking about? What are you 30 for 30? So in March, he said, we need to, we need to walk a mile a day every day. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay. So in the last two months, starting in March and through today, I've walked more than a mile a day, nice. not count even, even, even withstanding the eight day, eight, eight miles or whatever it was down in Florida. Uh, when the weather permits, I get out and take a walk. There's a 20 minute walk around my neighborhood that is about a mile. And there's a 20 minute walk around the office. That's about a mile. And until it gets the God awful hot here in the summertime, I'm going to continue to try to do that. So I've, I've added a bit, a little bit of peace. And that right there is that's 20 minutes in my day that I am not on somebody else's call. I can be listening to some tunes Maybe I listen to a podcast. Mostly I'm listening. Mostly I'm listening to Jimmy Buffett or Kenny Chesney or something. I'm just walk, I'm just walking, and I get my mind, you know, whatever. But the per, you know, the what I saw out, and what I found in an intersection through the magic of technology and the ad, right, is is yeah. that I I found a little bit of that structure that I needed to give me a plan and a framework to move forward with. Because, yeah. you know, if I had discontinued on the way I was going, I probably, you know, at this point, I would have lost 20 pounds instead of 45 pounds. And that's a so, you know, a lot of things being equal. But I, the, you know, I, I read the, I, I, you know, I, I won't say I look forward to them, but I get, you know, the Sunday, the Sunday, the Sunday mail, the periodically in the middle of the week, uh, you know, I read the blog entries. I watch the videos. If I'm you know, sitting down in YouTube land and, you know, I've got, I've got it in my subscription. So if there's a, t- you know, sometimes it's like, yeah, I'll, you know, that I, I'll, I'll pay attention. And I, I, so it's, it's part of my process, yeah. you know? Uh, and like I said, the accountability emails, uh, were good. And you'd, you'd ask me if I'd interacted with cat and the answer was yes, because, uh, you know, periodically I get the high five for the, you know, the, whatever, you know, the, 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 the victory of the moment or the day or the yeah. whatever, and the commenting, you know, like I plateaued at some point and, you know, there was a, you know, well, here's this article. And I, I think I had mentioned that I was using the Peloton and there, you know, there's an article about, you know, substituting, this version of hit training for that version of hit training. And so there was kind of that interaction that yeah. is, I think, val- invaluable in the yeah. sense that if you don't have it, you don't know what you're missing. Well said. And if you do have it, then it's, it's sort of a backstop, right? Yep. You know, and, but I look, at, I, I look forward to, you know, I, I see them, I pay attention. I'm, you know, I'm interested. Like today was what the, the three best or worst cooking oils or something. I haven't got, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but I, I, you know, it was in my email waiting for it, waiting for me to, you know, to, to, to talk about or watch the video. And, uh I, you know, every once in a while there's some new recipes or something and, you know, I, and I, you know, I have, I have the, the smoothie cookbook laid out in a three ring binder that's next to my, you know, I pull it out and it's like, I, sometimes I remember exactly what it is I'm going to do. And the other day I'm like, you know, I'm going to do the, the chocolate peanut butter or whatever it was. And I couldn't remember, I couldn't remember the ratio of something. So I went back to the book and, you know, sometimes you got to go back to the book. Yeah. Nice. I mean, so well said, and I, I appreciate you sharing what you did specifically, because I think there's a lot of guys that come on to these, the podcast and they're like, I followed this program to the letter, every exercise. And that was certainly not my intention in creating Fit Follower 30 x It was to create a framework that every man could take and use as a starting point to build his own framework. And what's immensely clear to me from hearing you is you have Dave's plan. It happens to involve our Fit Father smoothies. It happens to involve some structure of accountability and knowing we have your back. It involves the Peloton. It involves the through line of sandwiches and taking those no matter where you're at and generally just making making better choices, trying to walk more and be more active. And that's well, the plan that's going to work for you. On the ground over here, I got my 12-pound weight. So some days I'm on a yeah. meeting. I don't have the camera on, but I, like, I, was do, I do some squats. I do some stuff. And if I'm here, I'll do, you know, 10 reps of, uh, you know, just a, you know, ba- some basic portion of one of the, you know, the, ori- you know, kind of the original, uh, just as a, you know, 
get out of my get out of my chair when I'm here. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, it, it's. Yeah, you know, haven't been in the military and otherwise, you know, structure is structure is structure and that makes it, it works. And there, you know, and so there's but there's variances here, like in some cases, like I, I, I. I couldn't do it because I didn't have the I didn't have the upper body strength anymore, and so mm-hmm. like you know I did you know knee you know my push ups or whatever on my knees, and then I got a little bit better, and so it's that's kind of like I mentioned you know I've got I, I need I'm now at the point where I've gotten all the the easy weight, and I yeah. you know I'm I'm now at the special K pinch part of things where I you know I'm like. But I know I literally I noticed that I have loss of you know I, I don't have the the muscle tension you know muscle uh, volume so I need to I start, need to start working on that and yeah. you know kind of tune up a little bit yeah. uh, within the process and yeah it's my it's my plan but I you know I fall back to you know what what's a you know what's a good set of thing what's a good set of things to do. Um, and then, you know, the whole thing about what your body does, right. Is, is, you know, that until you press it, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you get into that stasis scenario and you've got to, you've got to change it up. You're going to change the order of something, or you've got to change the, the weight or the number of reps, or you've got it, you've got to do something. Otherwise you're, you know, you're, you're it's like, okay, cool. That we're going to do it. We'll do it in the yep. exact same amount of time. Heart rate will get to this it will not get any higher. It's not going to get any lower. We're going to meet right here. This is the thing, you yeah. know? And so that's the way it, it seems to, you know, it seems to work. And it, it's, it's worked for me. And, you know, um, you know, my wife's lost about 20 pounds along the way. Uh, and I actually have said, Hey, you know, we need to check out the fit mother project. And she's like, Oh no. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I, I kind of joke with her about it because, you know, it'll you know it show up in the in the uh, um, you know in the in in YouTube or wherever, and uh, but uh, you know she takes it good naturedly. But I point out, you know, it's like you know it, it's sort of been like a te- a little bit of a team effort. But, yeah, for sure. You know, um, it's it's you can't you know, no one's going to do it for you. Yeah, you got to want it individually, even and, though you're you know, supportive. And I think, you know, like I, whatever it takes to get to the point of a habit or whatever it is, I'm far enough along now, 56, 58 weeks, whatever it is. I got a 56 week streak on the bike. Uh, you know, I'm like, I've come this far. I don't want to go, you know, I, I don't want to fall. I want to backslide. I mean, there's, mm-hmm. you know, and, and that's one of the things I think about the scale that you have to be really cautious about is, is because, you know, you know, when I started drinking a water and yeah, you know, I got uh, other, I have other adult males in their mid fifties challenges, right? So <laughs> too much water, blah, 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 blah. So I, you know, kind of staggered that, but you, you know, you know, even if you do everything exactly the way you have intended to do it, you can still have a three, four pound swing in two days in either direction right. and come back to something. And if you, you know, if you use the, you know, if you see the swing up as a, as a negative and you, you know, that's, it becomes disincentive or you're, you feel like you're not successful at it and you're, you know, cause you know, you're chasing the needle, that's going to, you know, that that's going to be a, become a, a, a psychological barrier to, to, to things, because then you're like, okay, well, what, I, you know, then you got to go through this whole spiel of but what did I eat and where did I go and what did I do? You know? Yeah. Maybe it was, um, you know, you were out with some buddies and, you know, you hadn't seen them in a year and a half. And yes, there was a, small pizza in front of you and you yeah. put it all away. Yeah. I'm not saying that that's happened. I wouldn't even say it happened last week, but it, it could happen to somebody right. and, or, you know, uh, you know, uh, fries can be, you know, that, you know, fries can be addictive, right. And, you know, yeah. chips, you know, the thing about it is you have to start eating a bag of chips. Well, if you don't do that, you know, back in the day when I, you know, my comfort food was a jar of peanut butter and a spoon. Hmm. I, I, you know, there's peanut butter in my house and it gets used for appropriate purposes, but it, it no longer, you know, winds up downstairs next to me while I'm watching a football game or whatever. Yeah. You know, doing that. 
So, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I would say if somebody's out there looking for structure and you've seen every one of the, you know, all kinds of, you know, every program that there is out there and the YouTubers of this and that and the fitness influencers and all the rest of that, you would be, you would do, you, you could do far worse than just taking the step of going to fit father and taking a look at that for, you know, go through the basics. Even if you didn't need to do farther than that, if you could, if you consist, you know, stayed with that, you'll bet you're better off than you are today, not doing anything without any structure. And if you get involved, you know, if you need more support and you want to get in the Facebook group and the, you know, all that kind of stuff, then maybe that's, you know, maybe that's for you. It's not for, you know, not everything is for everybody, but having some kind of a framework that you can build on is so much more valuable than trying to just think of the, this or that, or go seek out this advice from wherever. Uh, And even if you're just doing it passively, right, go look at the, the, you know, look at, see what, you know, the content that you put out and look at the, the website and see these things, the it's, you know, there's a pattern that will emerge as you, as you look yeah. at it. And, you know, if you can get an account, you know, get into an accountability space, then that's, you know, that's the, the way to go. And, you know, the measure, measure things in small victories. I mean, that's the thing that's the, because I, I didn't notice, I mean, the scale, the scale tells you something, but I didn't notice some of the things that other people were seeing and the first time that it really occurred to me that I had lost more weight, you know, a, a significant amount of weight that made a difference was I loved to work, you know, in summertime wearing cargo shorts or whatever it is. My wife said, you're not leaving the house wearing those cargo shorts. I'm like, well, why? And she should, points me in the mirror and I'd like bunch, to, you know, I'd, I'd like to tighten the belt up. Yeah. And it, I'm like, okay. It, but it, did, it didn't occur to me because I, I didn't, you know, you don't look at, I, I maybe some people do, but I up until that point, I didn't look at myself that way, right? That's not you know that's not the that's not the observation that I had of of me. Uh, I do know in the past that I'm like, don't take a profile picture of me because my profile was not you know was not attractive to me. Uh, today, cool, have at nice. it, you know. I'll do, I'll do, you know, I'll do the GQ thing up against the, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, I mean, and so it's, it's all, it's mental, it's physical, it's action. You've got to yeah. take, you know, meet yourself. First, you got to meet yourself where you are. You know, you can't, you can't go, you, you can't get somewhere else until you start at the very beginning. And, but where the beginning is, is you have to recognize what that is. Um, you know, and I, I was in this state where I changed location. So I, you know, I had the same general practitioner, family practice doctor for 15 years. And I had talked to him and I talked to him and I talked to him and he come out for a while. My weight was very stable. And then he noticed that my weight started going up. So now I moved up here. I got a new doctor, never seen me before. So all he sees is the highlight high side. He doesn't, he didn't see the trend. And so I wasn't even paying attention to the trend, but clearly somewhere between the end, you know, the begin end of my travel or the beginning you know, toward that last end in the move, the pandemic and everything, I I kind of moved up because I I I I I don't know when I got to two forty five. I have no idea, but I can tell you when I got to one ninety five, and that was yesterday. Hmm. <laughs> Congratulations on that. So, that's that's absolutely brilliant. But that's you know that's sort of how I got you know sort of how I got here. I mean, I would you know I. You know, I, I would say that, you know, the, particularly the last four months or eight months rather, you know, cause I, you know, out of, let's say I've, let's say I've lost 45 pounds. Two thirds of that has been in the eight, in the eight months that I've been associated, you know, associated with fit father and the kind of the tipping point, whatever, where I kind of cro- crossed the big psychological barrier, right? It was 200 pounds was yeah. about the first of February. And when I crossed, so that would be 25 ish pounds since, yeah, about yeah. 25 pounds for, uh, on the program. But that was five months in, right? And it was slowly, slowly, slowly. And I'd get down there and it was like, you know, 204, 204, 204. Mm-hmm. And then, 
second week or so, first week of February, 18 straight weeks now below 200. Yeah. And down, you know, so it's, it is a journey, not a destination. I mean, mm-hmm. this is like, you know, the, 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 maybe there is a destination. And, you know, when I set the, my idea of, you know, losing 50, that's down to 190. Yep. Could I get down to 180? I probably have room to get down to 180, but I'm, you know, I wonder at the, you know, at, I'm not say at what cost, but at, you know, at what yeah. level of effort. Sure. And then the maintenance at that point, the maintenance becomes, I think, very challenging. Yeah. Um, we'll see where, we'll see where you land. Right. I mean, yeah. it, it could find that like 195, yeah. 190 is the nice intersection between I can very easily maintain this. My health numbers are great. When I go to doctor checkup, I feel fantastic and I can sustain this. Yeah, possibly. I'll tell you this, just as a little bit of unsolicited advice based on your goals um, is, you know, the muscle building routine in phase two with the dumbbells, I think would serve you well, like the Monroe and Kennedy, I think they'd be good, pretty yep. joint friendly. Awesome. And if you do throw back in those 24 hour fasts, I think that would be probably one of the biggest tools, just like metabolically speaking, that'll help you shave some extra weight. Now, whether or not that's something that's jooyful enough for you to sustain, that's another question. The answer may yeah, be no for you, but I'll tell I you, right it, now, will, I think it I mean, will, it, it will help the fat loss in I think oh. I'm I'm close to what I think is is a is a maintainable scenario because yeah. it's you know it used to be these thir- you know these these fair you know you could like if you were watching the you know like yeah. this and now I it's know. you know it's like that yeah. and it's within a you know the range within a week is about you know is is plus or minus a pound yeah um, you know and that's a you know. Is it is it easy? No, but is it maintainable without a crazy amount of effort? Without you know the mental gymnastics of what did I eat? What should I yeah. eat? Da, 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 da. Yes, and you know the fact that I feel like I can go out, sit down with my wife, go out, eat, you know, eat, re- eat eat dinner at a restaurant. You know, the other day, honest God, I had lunch and we went out and had ice cream for dinner. Mm-hmm. You know. It was a gorgeous summer day here. I'm like, the end of the day, you know, that, you know, forget the calorie count and all the rest of that. Totally. I didn't go overboard. You know, I had a reasonable portion, but it was a good, you know, it was a, it was a splurge kind of thing. And I didn't feel guilty about it. And, yeah. you know, I didn't have a negative weight, you know, negative event on this scale to cause yeah. me to make panic. So, I mean, it's, you know, I, I appreciate, I appreciate the program and, but I, you know, you know, and I, I, you know, I think it found me at the same time I was searching for something, you know, uh, and I, you know, it turns out probably to be, you know, that was the, 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 the right place at the right time for the path I was on and the path I probably, I needed to be on to meet some of the goals that I had, even if I hadn't formed those goals yet, because part of this is like, you know, you can sit down and say, I have an intention, but what is, you know, what does that mean exactly? You know, mm-hmm. you know, and I've been, I had this concrete goal, well, but I haven't, it hasn't manifested itself yet. I've been yeah. near it. I've literally not been near an airplane for a year. Yeah. Uh, and there's a reason for that. And the reason, the primary reason is, is, and this is, you know, the, there's other hobbies or whatever it is, is that I simply could not do it enough to be proficient or to be safe. And I, I spent a lot of time in, in search and rescue uh, and on the search end of people who had, you know, gone, something bad had happened. I didn't want to be that guy. And until I can get back to the point where I can be proficient, uh, I'm probably going to keep my wings nice hung up, hung up over there and take them down at some point. But in order for me to do some of the things I want to do in there and fly the type of airplane I want to fly, like get back into a J three cub, which was, you know, built in the forties for people who are not my, you know, not our size, right. The the forties, the forties human and the 2022 human right. adults are not the same size. Uh, but you know, you got to set an intention, whatever that intention is. If it's, you know, dance at your daughter's wedding and you want to get a new tux and you, you want to look good while you're doing it, or you want to do whatever it is or whatever that thing is, 
you know, the, you gotta have a, you, you know, you gotta have a goal and you, you, the joke in management, right. Is that what you don't measure can't be managed. I, yeah. That's kind of, but if you don't, me- if you don't measure it, you don't, you don't know. So that's, that's the, that's where you're, you know, where you're, where you are, well, you know, where I am, where I was, where I'm going. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All the above for sure. Yeah. And I want to appreciate you for coming on and, and sharing insight. You know, I gleaned a lot from this and I definitely learned a lot about you and your life. And uh, I wish for you that you get into the J3 Cup and that happens for you in the next couple of years that you hit the 50 pound weight loss goal. And I also wish for everyone who's listening to this, that they've taken a couple nuggets of wisdom that you figured out through your own life experience and they apply that and uh, they develop their own program and they start to lose some weight and feel better. Um, thanks for coming on, Dave. I really appreciate uh, you sharing I appreciate your story. It. Uh, you know, I want to, I got the got the email asking me. I mean, I I, I immediately you know responded immediately. Um, you know, because I you know have it's it's been very positive for me. Um, you know, and I could you know make probably could make more of it than I have, but um, I have made as much from it as was right at the time and the yeah. time, you know, is evolving. So I, I appreciate, you know, I appreciate the efforts. I appreciate the philosophy yeah. um, and, you know, the back, the background, right. So the, you know, uh, my, my father passed away a couple of years ago. He was in his eighties, but he had some endemic health problems that came up when he was in his mid thirties, which meant that he was not in the position to, to be that physical guy with me at the time mm-hmm. when I was at that point of, you know, uh, going through athletics and all the rest of that. And so, um, you know, I, I'm hoping, you know, obviously to be around for grandkids and all the rest of that. And, uh, you know, in order to do that, you know, I'm taking as much action as I can to make it so that I'm as healthy as I can be within the ballpark. So the philosophy of the program, your person, your personal philosophy and the background of how you got here um, is, is, is meaningful. You know, it's meaningful to me. I, you know, I see it, um, you know, and the, you know, having you be, you know, having you, you know, make that, you know, make that argument or the case about yeah. why you have done this as opposed to any of the other things that you might do yeah. uh, within, you know, within your academic and other backgrounds is, you know, I, I think that's, I think it's, it's, it's extremely, I mean, it's extremely valuable and I think it's important, you know, it's a, and it's making a difference for somebody. Um, yeah. and it's made a difference. It's made a difference for me, whether it makes a difference for somebody else or not. Uh, you know, that's, that's between them and you or between some <laughs> other group of people and you. But for me, I, I appreciate, I appreciate the program and, and what, what, what it stands, you know, what it stands for, what it means. Thanks Dave. I appreciate the appreciation and it makes, it makes a difference to me that it made a difference to you. And I appreciate you coming on today. <laughs>